Hey, what's going on guys? And welcome to episode five of my betting vlog. Now for everyone that tuned in last week, we all know that I have this new challenge where I'm starting off with a bankroll of a thousand dollars. I'm gonna make my way over to 20K by Super Bowl 55. It's gonna be a tough challenge, but I'm all for it. Before we get into all of the good juicy stuff, just go smash that like button, subscribe to our channel. That way you never miss any content. So I'm gonna start off with my NFL bets from over the weekend. I had two teasers. And I'm just gonna start off by saying right now, I had a horrible weekend. So bear with me. So for my first teaser, I had a five team six point teaser. I had Green Bay minus one, Tennessee had a pick em, Las Vegas plus eight and a half, San Francisco plus nine and Pittsburgh Steelers plus three and a half. For this bet, I risked $50 to win $210. And yes, I lost this bet. So I'm gonna subtract the $50 from my bankroll. Now let's get into my second teaser. I had another five team six point teaser. I had Green Bay minus a half, Las Vegas plus eight and a half, Chicago Bears plus 10, San Francisco plus nine, and Tampa Bay minus four and a half. For this teaser, I risked $25 to win $105. And yes, you are correct, I lost this teaser. So I'm gonna subtract the $25 from my bankroll. Now I'm gonna jump into my spread bets. I had five of them, okay? And those are from my top five NFL picks. For the first bet, I had the 49ers plus three. I risked $30 to win $25 and 21 cents. Yes, this bet did not cover, so eh, deduct the $30 from my bankroll. Next, I had Chargers minus three. I risked $50 to win $41.67. They also didn't cover. So I'm gonna subtract the $50 from my bankroll. And let me tell you, yes, rough week next up i had the steelers plus three and a half i risked 40 dollars to win 39 dollars and 60 cents they covered finally one one so yes i am adding back how much am i adding 39 dollars and 60 cents then i had the raiders plus two and a half i risked 20 dollars to win 18 dollars and 69 cents this bet also covers so i'm going to add that 18 dollars and 69 cents $18.69. And finally, I had the Bengals plus six. And yes, this one covered. I rest $20 to win $16.81. So I'm going to add that $16.81 to my bankroll. After all of my NFL bets, my new bankroll is now at $1,180.10. I'll tell you right now, I'm definitely changing the way I'm approaching betting my NFL picks this week. I think I got a bit too over aggressive because of my goal so i'm just gonna tone it back a bit this weekend all right so it was way too noisy over there with construction so i'm back home ready to talk to you guys about this so let's resume with what we were talking about we had ufc fight night uriah hall versus anderson silva and i made a three fight parlay i had andre feely at plus 122 Mark murdoff at plus 120 and uriah hall at minus 225 Malcolm Murdoff actually did not fight that night, so that is a canceled bet. Uriah Hall won, so that that won, and then Andre Feely lost. So I lost my parlay. How much did I risk on that? I risked twenty dollars to win one hundred and twenty-one dollars and nine cents. So yes, yeah, since I lost that, I'm deducting the twenty dollars from my bankroll. So I now have one thousand one hundred and sixty dollars and ten cents in my bankroll. Finally, I'm checking the results of my soccer picks. I tailed an SBR capper, and that is Alex Classic Tips. He is one of SBR's soccer experts. I had Bundesliga, Dorme minus one, minus one and a half. I risked $22 to win $20.18, and they won. So I'm adding the 2018 to my bankroll. The last bet I had was from Serie A. I had Inter Milan minus one and a half. I risked $22 to win $21.51. Now, for everyone that tuned in last week, you would know that I made a big mistake and placed the wrong bet because I was not paying attention to what I was doing. And I was praying that this would cover. Well, guess what? You were right, it lost. So I lost $22, big shocker. So I ended up in the 22 for my bankroll, making my new bankroll at $1,158.28. Honestly, I am very upset with how my weekend went because that was a horrible, horrible weekend. So I'm definitely gonna make some adjustments coming into this upcoming weekend, but I'll let you guys know 
Overall, last week, I risked a total of $299 to hopefully win $604.82, and I actually finished off the week negative money. So, yeah. I finished off minus $79.90, so you're really happy. Let me just tell you. And I'll remind you that my new bankroll is now $1,158.28. So I wanna get into my upcoming bets for this weekend, okay? Keep in mind, I'm gonna be more wise with my bets. I still have my $300 budget per week. Um, so yes, so I'm gonna start off with my NFL bets. And shocker, again, I have a teaser. I'm gonna have another five team six point teaser. I'm gonna take the Bills plus eight and a half, Texans minus one and a half, Saints plus 11 and a half, Bears plus 11 and a half, and Dolphins plus 11. For this teaser, I risked $50 to win $210. Next, I created a four-team parlay. I have the Seattle Seahawks minus 158, Tampa Bay Bucks minus 220, Miami Dolphins plus 180, and Chicago Bears plus six minus 104. For this parlay, I risked $10 to win $120 and 45 cents. I also have three more bets in the NFL and they're just spread bets. I took Miami Dolphins plus four and a half. I risked $40 to win $33.33. .33. I took the Baltimore Ravens minus two and a half. I risked $50 to win $47.62. And finally, I took the Seattle Seahawks minus two and a half. I risked $40 to win $32. Next up, I have my UFC bet. And this weekend, we have UFC Fight Night, Thiago Santos versus Glover Teixeira. I made a two-fighter parlay where I risked $20 to win $60.45. I took Tanner Bozer minus $275 and Glover Teixeira at plus $195. So I definitely have less best than last week, okay? Overall, I'm risking $210 to hopefully win $503.85. If I do happen to win all of those bets, knock on wood, then my new bankroll will be at $1,662.13. I am clearly still so super far away from that $20,000 goal, but honestly, I wanna see how far I can make it. I won't be too angry if I don't make the 20K just because that's such a ridiculous goal and it's so bold, but I'm gonna try my best. I'll do my best because you never know what will happen. That's all I have for episode five of my betting vlog. Be sure to come back next week to see where I'm at on my journey towards 20K, if I'm any closer or if I'm farther away from that 20K goal. Be sure to also give this video a like and subscribe to our channel, that way you never miss any content. I'll see you guys next week and best of luck on all of your ways. And if there is noise in the background, please bear with me because there's construction across the seat street <laughs> there's construction across the street not the seat <laughs>